Good morning, guys. Can you see my screen? No, not yet. Um, let me try again. Can you see now my screen? Yes, yes, now you're sharing. Okay, good. I hope you are doing very well. So today, so today our session will focus on how to use AI to write a report and slides. And uh, you know, guys, AI, using AI is not new for you anymore. Uh, before starting, let me tell you how you will structure our session. We see, first of all, a recap on generative AI, then how to use AI to write a report and slide, which is our main uh, topic. And at the end, we will end uh, the session with a, a demo okay so let us make it also interactive uh, so that it will be a vivid session for all of us so uh who can tell me what the generative ai means and why do we use generative ai and how uh, i want someone to, to to tell me Yeah, guys, AI is not news for you. It's not something new for you. So what generative AI means for you and why do we use it? Therapy? Okay, thank you, Rodol. Uh, according to my uh, understanding, the AIs are uh large language models and they are the machines that support the humans on their day-to-day -day life of course they are created by humans and they are also supporting humans so they are already pre-trained and then they uh, support uh, our uh, activities uh, whatever it is like uh, in each sectors uh, if there is anything to be uh cleared or if there is any uh, organizational tasks to be done then we can if we are not able to do that by our service we may uh, get uh, support or help from those uh, uh, large language models and then we can refine and do our activities uh, uh, correctly that means we need to make it like a human touch and a human uh, feeling and sense for that uh, particular activity after we getting from those AIs by, uh, I mean, giving our prompt, then based on that prompt, we'll get the uh, response from the AIs and then we'll refine it for our uh, tasks according to the, the nature and the culture and the context of our uh, sector. Yeah, this is my understanding. Thank you, over to you. Yeah. Thank you for giving me your understanding. It's very good. Yeah. Uh, Oye, Lola. Yeah, you have the floor. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, generative AI, from my understanding, um, it's a kind of artificial intelligence um, that generates um, content like a, um, um, replicating human reasoning. So it has the ability of generating um, uh, content, text, um, images that have not existed before. And it usually creates um, a new content. So by using the LLM model, that's large language model, 
to create um, something realistic or or um, imaginary. It could be it could be text, it could be images, it could be just a random reasoning. So you could, you can you can tell it that okay, I want something like this. It will just create it based on the uh, model that it has been trained with. So that's my understanding. Yeah, thank you. Oh yeah, Lola. Um, it's very good to hear from you that you understand uh, the general concept of generative AI. So let's move on. So in recap, let's just say that generative AI is a type of artificial intelligence that use LLM large language model in the background to understand and generate human-like tests based on massive data they've been trained on. So they can perform um, tasks like uh, summarization, completion, and generation of tests, and so on. And why do we want to use them? We want to use them because they, they will help us to reach efficiency, consistency, scalability, and uh, reduction of bias. Those are the reasons why we want to use often generative AI. And how do you want to use them? You know, for any given AI, you need to send an input and get a desired output. And as you guys have already explained, we need to use a prompt. And this, this prompt is our input. And this prompt means what? It is a set of instruction that we give to the AI to guide it to generate for us our desired output. So in recap, this word generative, we can say about generative AI. Now, how can you use it to write a report and slide? So this is what you're going to see. And this also is not new for you. In terms of a structure, it's the same thing we have seen so far. So first of all, the first thing we need to do is to define the objective and the contents. And after defining the objective and the content of our, we need to do what? We need to gather the relevant data that we want to report or we want to present in our AI. So when it comes to the report, for instance, Maybe you want to report on a given topic. Maybe it is a transportation uh, in a given city or a given country. You need to provide the relevant data by after defining your objective and the content of the scope, okay? After that, maybe it is a, a research, you are a PhD student and you want to do a report for your paper or I don't know for your research basically you need to provide some research papers you have already find the interesting that are related to your topic and send it to the AI so that the AI can make it a summary a summary and maybe even if you want a full content you ask the AI to do that for you and you do that for you now when it comes to the presentation I mean to create some slides you provide also some key points or data that you want to cover and let the AI to assist us. So this is what we do in general. And it is that, in that way we is what we call prompt engineering so far. It is the process of uh, sending to the AI instruction to get him to give us the desired output that we want. But it's not over. When we do those steps, it's not over. We need to edit and uh, review, organize uh, the output the AI gives us to make sure that it meets our objective. And also, we need to sound human like. That's why we need to review often the output that AI have generated to us. 
So, furthermore, let us see what are the AI tools that we will use to write a report and slides. Some are here. We have uh, ChatGPT, we have Copilot and Gemini. We can use them to do reports um, out loud for, and uh, we can use that for reports, okay? And also we can use that for slides. Even though it won't generate us for us directly the slides, it will generate us the content of our slides, okay? We have magic, uh, magic slides app for creating professional slides with a G sheet. And we're gonna see that in the demo very soon. Uh, we have Grammarly for proofreading and improving our writing quality. We have also Tom, which is a, a power, which is an AI power uh, storytelling and slide creation. And this one, I don't think it is free. It is a, you need to pay for, to use this one. We have beautiful AI, uh, slider beam, and uh, those AI can help us to write report and slides. As we know already, some of the AI that we can use, let us do a quick demo. And for a demo, we, we're gonna try three things. We use ChatGPT or Copilot for reports or uh, the content of a slide. After that, we'll do, uh, we we'll try GPT for G sheets to report and magic slides to create slides. So uh, before getting into the demo properly, let, uh, let me ask you if you have any questions so far. Yeah. Oye Lola. You have raised your hand so we can speak, please. Okay, no no question. I'm I'm fine. Ah, okay, good. So if there's no question, share some reaction with the, your emoji. Okay, good. So let's dive in into the demo, okay? So for for the demo, um, we will start for the we start with the, the last one. I, I, I will start with the last one, okay? Magic slider to create slides. So um, we we will see a quick step how to do it. So if you want to use this, first of all, we'll go to a Google workspace placement. After that, we will go to magic slides and uh, we will click on add-on and install it. We will sign on, we will sign in or login. After that, we will enter the test or the PDF or the, uh, the URL that we want to use to generate our slides, our presentation, and we select the number of the slide we want. And after that, we click on generate and we generate our slide. So you're gonna see that one quickly. And uh, uh, here, as I said, we this. Uh, let, let me let, let me do that for you guys. Uh, Google. What place take okay, place? You click on this one. Okay. After that, you click on okay, good. So um Magic, that uh, I will say magic slides. Okay, so 
Uh, we do not have a given name called Magislides up here. So uh, if you don't find it, what we can do is we, we can go directly in the page of Magislides. So we go on this one. And here we are. So the first thing we need to do after getting the page of a magic slide, we click on add-on. When we click on add-on, it will ask you, it will ask us to, to, to sign in. I already, I already uh, do done that step, so I don't need to, to do that anymore. So after that, it will ask us to install it. Even the installation, I did it already, okay? But you, you click on that if you, you want. And when you click on that, you see, for me, it, it uninstalled here because I have already installed it already. So I don't need to do that anymore. In your case, you can do that. And after doing that, you go to, you create a new, a new slide, okay? So we click on this, do a new presentation, a new presentation. After new presentation, you will see in the, in the bar here that we have extension. So we click on the extension. Let us wait for the page to load. So, okay, good. We click on extension. And after click on the, on the extension, we can see that we have here magic slider app, GPT for slides. So what we will do, we click on generate PPT. Okay, good. And after this, we wait a little bit. Okay, good. So we click on prompt. Okay. Uh, you can you can skip that that step. Okay. So here we are, prompt. What is your presentation about? We will put that here. Um, the number of slides we want to generate. You can say three, for instance. Um, image for each slide. You click on this one if you want. Send email when it is done. The language, English. And uh, here we have generate presentation. So uh, let me tell you that we have, I have already, uh, at the beginning, you give free credit. So for free, for the free, uh, you have free credit. But if you, maybe you have uh, used your free credit, it may ask you to pay, maybe, I uh, guess that one. So here we will try something simple so we will try to generate a slide based on a given prompt so let, let, let us um write a prompt i can say it as a, a creative report
So he asked to add to uh, here, please meet you at least 50. Okay. Okay, uh, let us uh, use the points like that, and then we will generate our our slides. We wait for some seconds. Often it use less than two minutes to generate slides, so. Uh, Um, let me check my email. Was up. Um, It is loading some, yeah. So. She should also be style model. So what's wrong with this? It doesn't show yet. So uh, I don't know what is wrong with that one. It doesn't show. Uh, let us come back to that. Okay, we don't want to uh, waste our time. Uh, let, let us come to the the second one, okay? For the second one, we go again on the on the Google Workplace Market, and let, let me put here um, GTP GPT for doc sheet and slides. And I will click on this one. I have already installed this one. In your case, you will click on install. It will install it. Let me see which uh, which account I use here. Okay, fine. So 
when you install this one, you can go to your Google Sheet. And when you come to your Google Sheet, you can use the, you can see that we have here extension. We click on extension and you come to the GPT for sheet. This one and uh, you launch, okay? You launch. When you launch, it will display at the right uh, a windows to tell you how to use it, the function it contains. So we have GPT function that take as an argument prompt value. And there are some argument you didn't show here, okay? Uh, like uh, the temperature, the model. Yeah. So for instance, here is the, the summary of the the fruit sheets, the, the, the sales that we have in our shields are in our sheets for 2025, 2026, and 2027. So we have the summary here about income, expense, profit, and the gain or loss. So uh, what can we do? We just tap equal GPT and uh, we write our prompt in here. My, the prompt is as a financial expert generate a report based on the following data. I make it clear and simple within four uh let me see what within uh, oh sorry again within a four paragraph and after that i put here the data i select basically the whole data that i want to uh, on which i want to write a report and uh, after that i use a temperature and by default, the temperature is zero, and the value of the of the temperature is often between zero and one. Okay, so I just use here zero point five, and it is the it uh, the value of the temperature uh, is telling to the generative AI how it will uh, uh, be uh, how to be creative, basically. Okay, so. You can even uh, remove that one. So this is what we, we did and it have a generator for us. Uh, as you can see, it has generators for us uh, this report, okay? So that's the way you can use uh, the GPT for slider and sheet in your Google Sheet to create a report, basically. Okay. And uh, uh, when we have done this, uh, let us see for the other one what, what what is wrong with that. I don't know what is wrong with that. It, it doesn't generate it the slides okay let me continue yeah let's try this one and see what it will do Okay, nothing. Ah, okay, the credit is zero here. I can't generate anything now for that. Okay, by the way, for this one, uh, it works, okay, it works, but I have already used my free credit 
but as I will explain for the the other one, you can you can use basically the GTP directly in your Google Sheet to generate reports, and uh, also the content of your slide. And if you have generated the content of the slide, you can come just here uh, and and put the content on a, a given slide, and you've done with your work also. So. Uh, so far, let me ask if there is a, any question. Is there any question? Uh, yes, Rodolfo, uh, I'm requesting that uh, you take me through how to generate that report in the Google Sheet. Oh, uh, please, Edwin, I can't hear you very well. Can you speak louder? I'm requesting uh, you re take me through that point of uh, the report in uh, the Google Sheet. Eh? Okay, you want me to redo that? Yes, please. Okay, fine. So for that one, first of all, you go, uh, you go to Google Workplace Markets. Okay. This is the first step. When you go to Google Workplace Market, you tap on the search bar, GPT, and it will display for you many GTP. So uh, I click on GPT for docs, sheet, slides. I click on this one. And uh, this here, the, the one I, 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 I use in actually. So I click on this one to install it. Okay. Me, I have already installed it. That's why I didn't click on anything. Now, if I click on this one, I will install it. So when you, inst you install it directly, you will, you will see that in your Google Sheet. So you come on your Google Sheet, okay? You go to extension, and when you go to extension, um, you need to, to find it. Okay, if I'm not find it here, it means that I mess up with my Google, uh, with my account. Uh, let, me, let me see which account I'm using here, I'm using, Okay, okay. Uh, here, which account am I using? Okay, I'm using 10 Academy account here. The other one was my Gmail account. And as uh, I, uh, let me see. Okay, but I used both. Anyway, so when you come here, you click on extension. It will display for you the GTP that you have installed. And when it is displayed, you click on this one, you click on launch. When you click on launch, it will display for you in another window at your right, how you can use it. So you have those functions. And the one that interests us is the function GPT that we want to use. So you, you, the two main arguments are the prompt and the value. Okay. So we can even ask, ask he, ask him here maybe to okay, uh, GPT. Um, some of the okay, so do some yeah the following following data and we provide this one um, 
So you see, I ask, I ask to prove, to calculate the sum of n. I give the the value, the the sheet, the, the cells that I want to calculate the the sum, and yeah, he calculated here. He used the first one plus uh, the second one plus uh, the the third one here, and it generates the answer. And here it explains what he did basically. So how it work? Okay, Edwin, is that clear now? Okay. Um, okay, good. And uh, the third thing I wanted to show is you guys, you can use directly even chat GPT or copilot. Okay. So for instance, uh, this is the prompt I use here. Uh, basically the, the same prompt I use here as a financial expert generating report based on the following data. Make it clear and simple in four paragraphs. And this is the data, the summary data for the three years. And this is the, the, the report that it generated for me. You can see. So that is it. It's up to you now to do it properly according to your task to do your analysis. And uh, uh, you can do the same also in in copilot and any any llm you guys want to use yeah so one thing i wanted to mention about the the gp the gpt here it may ask you sometimes it may say to i mean to click to subscribe as a premium if maybe you have a user, your try, your, the free try it gave you, so you may account that one. So if you want to use it, make sure that uh, uh, you you are using it for your purpose right away. Don't try many times because when you try many times and after you come back to use for your giving task now, you may say, okay, you need to subscribe for the premium. So I wanted to highlight that one also for you. So that you, you, you be aware. Any other question? Is that clear for everyone? Okay, that's up. Uh, okay, thank you for the presentation. Maybe on the slide preparation, uh, for example, if we are going to, if we, we need to prepare a presentation, maybe 50 pages of Word, Word file, if we have a Word file, uh, and if we are expect to, to prepare a presentation, can we use the AI for that one? Maybe as you show us in the demonstration, you enter some idea, uh, but can we input, uh, can we give the input, the word input for the AI? Yeah, you can, you can do that. We can do that, but uh, it depends. It depends on the tip, the, the type of AI you are using. For instance, when you go to Copilot and you ask Copilot to generate some slides for you, it will tell you that yeah, it, it can't generate a slide for you, but it can generate the content of the slide for you. So it's up to you now to generate the content at that moment and copy each content and put it and put it in your slide. Yeah, maybe we may lost perfection and uh, it may not be as one as uh, what we want the slide can be. Uh, for example, we know that every one of us, we prepare a slide for the different presentations. So we add a slide per page, how many words it can be, uh, how many sentences can be just we know this one uh, coloring uh, designers uh, animation is like that one so if we are going to put 50 page of word 
in that AI presentation. Can the AI present it like this as can we want? Yeah, of course, of course, yeah. So uh, this is what it, I, I wanted to show you, but it doesn't work. I have already used my credit uh, where it is now. Uh, be, be, yeah, before before this session, it worked for it worked for me. So maybe maybe uh, so let you select maybe let you okay over here. What is your presentation about? It says yeah. Here, can we yeah, attach this, some? Yeah, in the box. For yeah, example, in the box here, you put yeah, you, in the box. Yeah, I'm listening. For, uh, yeah, for example, in the box, you write uh, create an education slide desk like that one. You say it like this. Instead of this one, can we copy maybe 50 page of word in here? Maybe can you show you can you show us like this? Okay, I get your Anyone. point. I get your I get your point. Uh, for yeah. this one, okay. For this one, um, uh, where, 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 um, okay, okay. Uh, let me go in this. So you want to you want to copy a given page. To the yeah, AI maybe. To generate. Yes, uh, arbitrary. Any example? Oh, uh, well, um, okay. Using magic slides, you can go further. Yeah, you can upload things here. Even upload, yeah, fine. You can upload things here, but I don't. I, I mean, when you want to to upload a, a file. Uh, the file you want to upload is is already a presentation or it just uh, a no no, no. A it may be word word a miss word okay okay yeah yeah this is what this AI is doing basically as you can see here you can provide a PDF you can provide a, a URL you can provide a, a test a, to generate things so yeah let 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 uh, here is not let just try something um you may try something and see if it will work um something like that so you say you say here not enough credit please upgrade so yeah, this is the point yeah, yeah. so that's okay, why no problem saying. we'll try it so, we'll try so and you, i will come if i have uh, some doubt yeah so if you have if you generate something put it in the slack to to tell your peers that you have generated with that because uh previously i used that and i generated some slide with it so I spend my my credit, my free credit. That's why it's not generating anything now. Okay, okay. so it worked okay. perfectly. But there are some uh, I have list I have uh, listed in the in the um, at the end of the presentation. Okay, like a tome, you you need to pay for them. Beautiful, you need to pay for those AI. We need mm -hmm. to pay for this AI. So yeah. that is it. Any other question so far? If everything is okay for you, I just show some reaction and we will wrap up this session. OK. 
Okay. All right. So, Ikra, you can help me. Ikram, you can stop the recording, please. Maybe you can share with us this slide because we couldn't find on the weekly challenge documents. Please, Therapy. Uh, can, you, can you share with us these slides? Maybe ASAP? Of because, course. Yeah, I of course. I will, I will share it. I will share it very soon in the channel. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.